Hey guys, welcome back to BD Themes. This time we brought you a new update, Element Pack Pro 5.10. This new version is more improved, more advanced and comes with a new exciting features. We made some major change in our codes. Element Pack is now lighter and faster than before. Now let me show you what we brought you this time. We will talk about the new widgets and features here, so sit tight. You all know very well about the coupon code. Once in a while, you need it to give discounts to your customers. Let's drag the widget below your offered product. You will see a box with the coupon code and a button alongside. Let's align them in the middle. Once you click the button, the code will be copied automatically. This is actually the default layout. Let's change into style 1 where the button position is changed or style 2 where the code itself inside is the button. Let's revert it. You can edit the button text here. You can also place an icon and the coupon code goes here in this field. It's summertime sales for now. Let's look into the fun part. If you turn on the toggle link, clicking on the coupon button will take you to the repository website. This feature is for affiliates where they can put their affiliation link on the coupon button to secure their commission. And lastly, you can display the coupon code upon a certain condition. For example, let's turn on the trigger by action button. It will require you to put the CSS ID for the condition item. Like the form above, assign a CSS ID to the form Copy it and paste it inside the form selector field. See, the coupon code got hidden. Now, when a user will fill the form and submit, the coupon code will automatically appear in the field. The interactive tabs widget is a specially designed tab for Elementor. User can directly interact with its dynamic layout and animations. As you can see, there are four tabs and an image on the display. As the tabs change, the image changes as well without changing its position and vice versa. Let's try and edit a tab item. Just click on the box in the layout section and you can place your title here, subtitle right under it and upload icons or SVZ to display above the title on the tab. On the subsection named content, you can place your media file like image or video as a tab content. You can directly link videos from YouTube here too. Same controls are available for every tab's item. You can increase the number of tab column from the additional settings. It's right below here. Also, the position and alignment options are available. The navigation section has 5 navigation styles. We used arrows and dots combination here. The dynamic bullet is on for the dots. Try toggling the button to see the effect. You'll get 23 arrowhead styles in this section. Pick any one you like.
The interactive tabs has slider animation settings located at the last section here. Let's have a look at the style tab. Three modes to select from the first section, normal, active and hover. Let's change the background for the active mode. You may want to use the glass morphism effect. It's quite good though. Adjust the blood level if you need. There are more options below. Try to get familiar with them. I bet you'll enjoy it. With the Element Pack 5.10 update, you can add floating effects to pictures or widgets. Let me show you how it works. Grab an advanced icon box and head for the motion effects section in advanced tab. Then turn on the floating effects button. There are so many controls here. Let's pick translate and adjust the variables. You can see in the live preview. After that, let's look at the rotate function. Now you may rotate your element or widget in any direction or combined if you want. As you can see on the display, the widget is already rotating according to the values we set. You can even add scale effect on the content. Set the duration of the scale effect and adjust the scaling amount. Now border radius can become an effect too. See how it's behaving on the display. You may also play with the opacity effect to add a blinking style on the content. Lastly, there are 9 different casing effects available for the floating effect. Let's talk about another new extension we bought in Element Pack 5.10 update. To demonstrate this feature, let's take a widget, maybe the advanced icon box, and head for the advanced options. Now go to the background section and activate the background color. You'll see a new section appear below that reads as background overlay underlay. Now select a background color and go for gradient. Let's increase the margin and padding for the overlay. Next, change the content background to white. Did you see it? The overlay became a gradient border beneath the content. As it happens, this overlay background gets completely separated from the initial content and work as a new element. Now let's flip the color for the hover. See how the color flips the border. You may also try border radius at it. Then change the angle of the gradient.
let's change the angle for the hover mode as well. Also, you can use this new overlay feature to add transitions on top of a section using images. Let's choose an image with transparent background. You just need to adjust the opacity for the hover mode. It's easy. And you know it. See how the background overlay activates the image on top of the current content. Amazing, right? The visibility control determines who get to see your content by fulfilling a certain condition. This feature works for anything on the page. For example, take two headings side by side and let's see. For the red one, go to the advanced tab, click on the visibility control section and turn on the display conditions button. On the condition list, select a condition from the first drop down bar. There's many of them. Let's go with the login status. Then keep the second option is for true value and the third as logged in to apply the condition. For the second heading, change the condition determiner to is not. Now on the preview, as we are logged in, we can see the red heading only. Again, the condition can be applied for the operating systems. Check the red heading and select the operating system category. Now select Windows. For the green one, same process, turn the condition determiner to is and select Mac OS below. Now update and check the preview. Since we are using Windows 10, we can see the red heading only. The visibility control works for browsers too. Go ahead and select browser category and then Firefox for the red heading. Select Microsoft Aged for the green one. Now update and preview. Like before, we are on Microsoft Aged. So we can only see the green heading. You already know about the circle info widget. But this time we added something good. Click on any menu item to unfold the options and go to the new background section. Then select an image. As you can see, the image is displayed inside the circle. Now let's add another image to the second menu. Go to the second item and add another image. Do the same for the third one. After you are done, let's have a look here. The fun thing is, when you hover over the icons, the image inside the circle changes according to the icon. This menu can be made into a mobile menu by using the responsive attributes. Now go to the additional info tab, change the layout to circle and adjust the size to fit the mobile display.
just like that, the circle info works in mobile devices too. Our iframe widget is now improved and more responsive than ever. Just like how you can simply change the iframe width and it perfectly fits the site. You can also align the content now. Moreover, iframe has device now. You can select from the various devices and browsers to show iframe in a lot cooler appearance. Why not see it in mobile view? Awesome, right? The mobile itself is customizable. In Element Pack 5.10, we rebuilt the Tooltip function from the scratch. Now Tooltip has a separate section and a lot more features. Let's turn on the Tooltip button. Unlike before, you can place the Tooltip using a lot of placement options. Or you can simply turn on the Follow Cursor button and it will follow your cursor. You can select how the tooltip will trigger by hover or by click. To get a better view, let's go into the demo page. Just hover as you like over the tooltip options. Right below, there are 6 animation styles for the tooltip and 3 type of triggers, hover, click and custom content. Also, you can use offset to make the tooltip appear above a section. And you already know the follow cursor mode. The tooltip editor visibility issue is fixed in the help decks, icon nav, logo carousel, logo grid, marker, price table and scroll nav widgets. Surprisingly, we now have a new changelog style. The changelog, once you click on the changelog, it will show inside a sidebar view. As you can see, the contents are arranged quite neatly. You can also see videos inside the changelog. Not only that, you can submit your idea for anything you like by clicking on the option beside the latest changes. Once you click, you'll be redirected to a new window. Just click on the Submit Idea button and fill in whatever is in your mind. As you can see in the change log, we have added related query and current query inside our query system. Also, we have added spam mail and reset form option in the simple contact form widget. There are more changes and fixes inside the Element Pack Pro 5.10. You can see all of them inside the change log. Please have a look. That's all we have prepared for you now. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to this channel to stay updated. Thanks for watching.